hello guys you are welcome to my youtube channel uh, in this video guide i will be walking you through how to create a facebook shop that is one of the features of uh, facebook one of the models within facebook that you can use to improve your sales okay uh to explain it further facebook already has a database of the following so what you are just doing is you are creating utilizing that facebook application to upload your content and of course the facebook shop is different from facebook marketplace which i have actually done video on that uh, in my youtube channel if you have not subscribed to this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and i'm very happy yes i've done a video on how to sell on marketplace and i've also done videos on this same topic on facebook explaining further on how to use facebook so but in this case i have done a video here where i showed how to create page for your business okay and uh, the breakdown is very straightforward you are leveraging the database of facebook uh, you are creating a facebook account if you do not have an account the first and most important thing is to log into facebook.com and you just need to create a new account once you click create a new account you need to sign up i will recommend that you activate this account with your phone number because it will help identify your location and your currency okay so that is your time zone and currency will be identified so that is most important so once you've gotten your account created you sign in and you really want to start adding your friends and family on your facebook account but that is not the most important thing the most important thing is to then go to the next stage which is creating a facebook page where i have actually done a video on that also uh, and it's just so simple you just need to and if you are interested in doing having another video explaining further explaining how to create a facebook page uh, put in the comment section or chat me my information is always in the description i will be willing i'll be eager to do more videos explaining this uh, important fact uh, tool so the next thing is that you have created a page for in my own instance i've created a page fetuga majid let me open this page in a new tab but for this tutorial guide i'm going to make use of one of these two pages um so that you can see how to uh put your product on facebook how to create a facebook shop so that is the focus we want to create a facebook shop and perhaps we want to check out our product our sales our order on probably our website or any other funnel that we have selected so this is one of the pages this already has a shop this also already has a shop oh, okay let me explain with this uh, page messenger panda so once you create a page by default your page will not have this shop future let me click on this shop future and you'll be able to see this is a new shop yes this is a shop that you have products i have quite a number of products uh, i would need to update my shop <laughs> uh, i don't always go to the shop so people can actually see your products and if they are interested they can actually message you okay and if you set your products to be checked out on a website uh, you will be able to you know instead of messaging now uh, it will redirect them the the audience the prospects to your website so in this case if you should click message now you can definitely you know is this item still available do you do delivery uh, you know these are how you initiate facebook messenger chats so the person that is interested in the product can just start chatting you up and because your information is already linked on facebook you can you know initiate a discussion and grow uh, sales as much as possible so this is just an example of what 
the product will look like and let us go back to messenger panda so how do you do this how do you set this up by default once you have created your page once you have okay don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i really say please do i would uh, really love that i have videos on web development and digital marketing and that is what i give out in terms of content so immediately you are coming your facebook page for the first time you are not going to see this feature of shop you are not going to see it there by default so if you come to your settings your settings and uh, you now come to page templates and tabs okay so on your facebook page on your facebook page you go to your settings and then you click on templates and tabs so that is where you go you go to your settings and you click on templates and tabs uh, by default you are going to see this as uh default that is what you are going to see so what i decide what i i okay you are going to see standard that is by default the facebook page function or features template that you are going to have is standard okay so what you want to do is either to pick either the services or the shopping or shopping okay and i think i picked let me see the one i picked I picked services okay I picked services okay so either ways either ways you just need to pick one and once you pick you are going to see uh, this function that shows that there is shop there are other things available and you just click apply template apply template so once you click on apply templates it's going to apply your template and your template will now be shopping and this shopping enables your Facebook shop. That is a unique feature that you have on your Facebook uh, page. Okay. Now, I can I always prefer to drag and drop my shop up to the top because I want it to be you know obvious whenever anybody uh, clicks on my page. I want the shop function uh, features to be available and to be obvious so that is one thing and once you are true with that you if you have any other things like you have services you have live you can set up your videos your live se sessions you can do a lot of things with this functionality so once you are true with that you want to go out of this page and you go back to your Facebook page so let us go back let us recap what we have gone through so you go to your page your Facebook page on your Facebook page you are going to select you are going to go to your settings and you are going to click on templates and tabs so this is the Facebook page you scroll down and you click on settings and on your settings you are going to select the templates and tabs and uh, you are going to edit okay or you you know reset so you edit it to uh, either of the templates that you want so you just click on this edit and you select any of these templates that you want and that is just that and you click apply so if you do that you have this function of so you are going to templates you click on edit click on edit templates and select either services or products i think services or shopping or business any of these can actually do uh, products you will see if you click on that you are going to see features that will be available for you so like this restaurant and cafe has no products just offer review photos videos and these are these 
so you can you know click on this edit and go through all the uh you know templates models that they have functions that are features of these uh templates uh, so that you'll be able to know which one that resonates uh, with your chosen so anyone you choose you now click on apply and that is just that having done that you need to shopping so once you are through with that you can come to your shop just click on this at the top you'll see this function shop and this is the first time you'll be coming live to your products where you can actually set your products and set or customize your shop okay so you can do a lot of things with facebook so the first thing is to add a product the first thing is to add a product this is a new function your shop isn't visible to customer until you add an inventory okay get started by adding a product below just click on add a product and here you are going to select the picture of the product or the video of the product please check out the recommended photo guidelines for tips and making your product image look good on facebook so you have to select uh, a product uh, you can just click on this and you get the product from your system or you can drag and drop of any photo or any image of the product so any of these are steps that you can do and uh, let me just let me pick a product here let me just pick an image So what I've done is just to drag and drop an image and this is an image so I've actually selected this image and I click on use photo. Please note you can always add more than one image item. Okay? You can always add more than one image item. Now you say the image is a laptop. Laptop. Okay, the price is probably $150 and this product is on sale probably there is uh, a sales price and this on sale is probably $130 what happened let me pick let me pick one of the images on my Let me pick one of the images on my pro. This is my okay. Uh, laptop and it's on one fifty. That is the dollar. If it's on sale, I can say this going out for one thirty. One thirty dollar and that is this is the description. Uh, laptop for training and i now say okay check out so if i should put a check out here it means a website link where people can actually check out when they click it takes them to the website and they can you know check out from the website perhaps you have an e-commerce store or on online you have a site where people can order products and you want people to check out from uh, Facebook those who are interested in the product let me just pick a product here let me say this product okay that is I'm just picking something and I put that link here you can see and I can say share this product on page you can also do that so if you should say share the product on page it's going to make the product advert available so as you are publishing the product on your shop 
it's also going to be available on your page okay so um visibility of this product is public if you don't want people if you don't want it to be public you can just make it unpublished so it's not going to be public yet and uh, you now say the condition of this product is new refurbish fair use and what have you and what after that you now click add products immediately you click add products uh it's going to actually be previewed and it's going to be added now let me just show you that if you don't want if you don't have a website and uh, let me say if you don't have a website you can make use of your whatsapp your whatsapp catalog okay so this is where i think i'll do another video where i'm going to show you step by step how you can pick your products on your whatsapp uh catalog and you put the link here so that anybody that is chatting you up on the product can actually click through and start communicating with you on your whatsapp so that you'll be able to really negotiate and close as much sales as possible so if you really need to do this you can you know you can also automate your products by you know linking your what uh, your your website to your facebook page and your product automatically you know goes live from your website to your facebook page so as you are uploading products on your website your facebook page your facebook shop will automatically be populated so i will explain this uh the guide how to set up your shop is to create a facebook account your page uh, on your page go to your settings click on templates and tab and edit the templates uh, select the one you want probably services or shopping and once you are through with that come to your sh shop page and populate your products you can either allow them to check out on your page which is going to set them send them to your facebook messenger okay like you can see or it can redirect them to your website like in this case they can only check out on your facebook messenger okay alternatively you can ask you can check out on your website uh, that is for this tutorial guys i wish you all the best i wish you good luck uh, if you have not clicked the subscribe button kindly do that i really say thank you and if you have questions on where facebook web development and facebook or digital marketing uh feel free to chat me up uh, i'm going to be available as much as possible i am a web developer and a digital marketer and i say thank you all the best